Hi good people, this is Fred here, welcome to the channel. Have you ever thought of uh, how can you preserve uh, uh, maize stock, dry maize stock? I have the best and uh, possible way of doing this. And the best thing that you can do is by ensiding. Yeah? And when you are ensiding uh, dry maize stock, not dry maize stock is a feeder feed. Yeah? It doesn't have uh, any nutritive value for the cow when you are feeding it to the cow. So what we are doing is, we are not going to waste our dry maize stock. What we are going to do is ensiding it. And when I say ensiding it, we are going to use what to make what we call silage. And when you are making silage, remember, the dry maize stock doesn't have uh, any sugar in them, doesn't have any energy. It is just feed or feed. So we are going to add value to it. And uh, how am I going to add value to it? One, I'm going to be using molasses in the ratio of one is to one. One liter of one part of uh, molasses to one part of uh, water. We are also going to use uh, magandi, that is minerals, natural mineral salts, and we are also going to use urea. So urea is uh, uh, it, it will add it will add the crude protein of uh, of the the base dry stock, and also it will make it to be palatable for the cow to eat. But this is a disclaimer, do not use urea if you don't have any idea or you have never used it because it can finish all your cows, it can kill all your cows. So this is what we are referring to as Magadi here. This is Magadi and uh, I have urea. Urea is a white substance, this one. And you have to be very keen when you are using urea, yeah? And I'm also going to be using these as molasses. I'm using 20 kg liter and I'm going to mix them here. So when you are using urea, you have to be very, very sure. Different people use different measurements. But for me, I'm going to use 1 kg for 200 kg of uh, the chopped uh, maize stock, as you can see there. Yeah. So I'm going to mix it well and I'm going to be using the watering can here to to water our silage yeah today is not perfect day of making silage because it is raining but i'm going to take you through and uh, i hope you learn something to it so the best thing to to preserve fodder uh is just ensiding yeah for me stock and sell because once you cut and you leave it once it is rained on it is not good for the cow yeah and remember also it can be eaten by termites you have to be very very keen when you are preserving your made dry stock you don't have to, to waste it, yeah? You don't have to waste it. Take advantages of the harvests we have had and preserve as much uh, as much water as possible. And the best way to preserve is either by bathing for grass for grass uh, family or by ensiding as the, what we are doing now. We have already dug a hole, as you can see, and uh, we are put on foraging paper, and now we are in the process of making it and uh, of ensiding it. So you watch along as we do this and I uh, hope you run till the end. Thank you.
it is already lit guys and uh, we are finalizing the process as you can see the citrate are already on yeah so it is dark but uh, we are working uh, to finish this silage making process yeah so it is work and uh, uh, let me show I'll be showing you how we are going to seal it after we have finalized all the details yeah and uh, I hope you will learn one or two things that you can implement in your farm and uh, for it to be successful. So let's make fodder for our cows and to be secure in times of uh, the drought. So watch along as uh, I'll be showing you how we are going to conclude all these and I hope you will learn one or two things. We are finalizing now, we are sealing, yeah? You start with the, the this one, and then you have to use uh, even... Yeah.